Hello, Shin guys! Yay! I have an unboxing again today. This here is something I purchased last week. Um, Crazy Factory, which is a piercing shop who sells piercings and everything, they had a, a huge offer on, and I went in and bought some nice things. Uh, well, things I like. So, um, yeah, let's have a look and see what's in here. I know what it is, but you guys don't know, so I'm gonna show you guys. Can we open like this? Like this, like this. Yeah, it works. There we go. Awesome. This was really, really cheap, and uh, the shipping as well was very cheap. So first we have like, ooh, Crazy Factory shows me all the stuff I bought. Yep. All right. Ooh, I get stickers. I didn't know that. Love your style. Um, then a whole bag of all the stuff. All right. All right. One thing I will advise you guys to do when you buy piercings, no matter where they are, clean them before you use them. Um, even though they, unless they come like in sterilized bag, but other than that, clean them. All right. Bought some earrings. Are they cool? Rainbow. They're so cheap. And they're silicone. Um, solid silicone. But I thought they'd be nice for a gay pride or something like that. They'd be fun. So I bought those. They're very, very cheap. And I bought these earrings here. I saw them on uh, another guy ones and they're really, really cool. They got like glitter inside and they're clear. And yeah, I just like, wow, these are nice. And again, they were like basically almost free because they're so cheap. So. I got those. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in them, can you? Yay! They look nice in the sunshine, definitely. So, two sets of earplugs. Now, the last stuff for the septum is here. I bought this ring here. This is for my nose. <laughs> it's just plastic, but it's uh, it's a fun size. This is the size I want to go up to. You guys can see it's quite thick, and it's plastic, and I thought it was cool. Uh, and it was, like, almost free. Then I bought this one for my nose as well, which is really awesome. And this here is like a spring-loaded bead, so the bead is just basically pull out. You can see it; you can just pull it out from there and pop it back in. Um, but this is the size I'm gonna have in my nose eventually. I only need one size to be there actually, so very close. And this is heavy. Then this one here is also for my nose. It's like a retainer thing, so I can just keep that in my nose when I don't want anything else to sit there. So that's a plug. So that's what I purchased. I'm really happy with this buy. And uh, yeah, you guys can see that now with quite large stuff. But I'm not going to use those rings there. I'm just going to use a plug and pop it in. Um, but they are large gauge jewelry, which is awesome. This one here I had for a long time. This is a gauge zero. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm sure, sure you can, but it's like the makeup sound. They're like, look at this. Um, yeah, but this is a gauge zero and it's like a horn or. Um, or do you, would you call it more like um, um, a crescent or something like that? I think that's more like it looks like a moon. But that's on the very biggest part. It's zero gauge, which is eight millimeters, which is the same as that new thing I bought today uh, or had today delivered. And also I got this one here. It's like a bullet. And I was supposed to use that as a retainer, but it's really, really wide. It's much wider than I thought. These rings here are only um, like rubber rings you put on so it won't slide off. Uh, if you have it like in your ear, you can put... Uh, a rubber thing on each side and then um, I got this one here and you can't screw this here because this here is just silicone see it's just soft and it was just like because it was so cheap it was like what 50p and I thought yeah that's fun let's get that just for fun so yeah my initial plan was to take this and maybe cut it into smaller bits and I could use one piece up in the nose it wouldn't be so obvious as this one here you could really see this one here because um, the one I got here is the um, zero gauge. I only had like down seven millimeters in my nose and I thought, oh, it's going to take forever before I can start putting like this one in here um, because this is one millimeter thicker than what I actually have in my nose, which is this plug. But I took this one out and I tried to put this one in first because it has like, it's small and go bigger and it just went whoop. And I had it right in. So I'm not just going to show you how this one works. This one here is a ball. Um, and this is spring loaded. So what I do is I can just take the ball and pull it out. And you can see on each side of the ball is like a little thing. Uh, but in the very middle of the ball, there's spring. So when I squeeze in, these two goes inside the ball. And you can see this little groove maybe. I don't know if you can see, but I hope you can. And I just squeeze like that and push it into the ball or into the ring. And there we go. It stays there. 
uh, I can try and show you when I put this in. Uh, some of you might be grossed out because not everybody's into piercings and stuff like that. Um, and also, not many people are into large gauge piercings. But I'm going to take out the one I got in my nose now. And I normally what I do is just press here and pull down a little bit. Oh yeah. That come out. And have cleaned it, don't worry. Then I can take this one here and I can just gently slide in. Just go slowly. Haha, ah. ha, moo. <laughs> this is not something I wear for normal days, guys. You won't see me wear this in every day. This is probably when I go out. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> the ring is cold. Um, but normally every day I will wear something like that, which is like a retainer. And it's just put out there. And up oh, and hide it. Ah! There you go. You hardly notice it. So, yeah. But before, when you, when you buy pieces like that, if they're not inside um, a sterilized little bag or something like that, completely closed, don't forget to clean the stuff first before you use it. You don't want to dirty your piercings up. I went out and cleaned this with some alcohol uh, before I put it in, and I will go out and clean it again now before I put it away. Um, but yeah, just to show that I actually main, managed to get up some zero gauge in my nose, which was my goal size. So I'm there now, and I'm happy about that. No more stretching for me, so that's perfect. My ears not going to change anything because I don't want to go any larger. They are double zeros, and that's fine. Now to something very different. Next week, or next week again, I think, uh, Paul is going out with some friends on a motorcycle ride. And um, unfortunately, Paul's helmet, the neck strap, um, doesn't fit. It's always been very, very small. So I'm trying here to make an extension for him. Um, so he bought these here. These are like a clip, so you can, um, if I pull that here, you will be able to see. Yeah, like that. You can pull that and... You can use that as a locking system, basically like what you got on some roller skates as well. But that's how you close the helmet. But because it was too short uh, and has been for a whole long time, um, we're going to add that to make it a bit longer so it'll fit down here around his neck. Look, I've got a little visitor in my office, a little moth. Yeah, guys, I have been uh, just working a little bit on my, um, my uh, web shop and uh, there's going to be some changes. And I've just written a little bit about what my gear is, so um, yeah. Right now, this is like what I just written and put on the website. You guys will see that eventually when I release the page. And also been working a little bit on the design and stuff. There's going to be some changes. So I don't really know what more to tell you guys. Um, besides, I'm working on a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to go out and take some pictures now, but I think I'm going to finish off the video for now. It's 10.30 now at night, and um, I want to try and see if I can get a little bit earlier to bed today. I got some dust particle on my lens. But yeah, um, this here is such an extreme piercing. Um, I sent a picture to my mum and she was like, you crazy, I hope you can take that out again. So of course I can take it out. Um, I'm gonna be wearing this retainer here mostly, as you always used to see me. I don't wear a big jewelry all the time. But these here I will be wearing, this one here and this one here sometimes when I go out. Um, Maybe not in a straight scene. If I go out in the gay scene, I will because there's a lot more accepted there to have like extreme piercings. In the straight scene, everybody will be like, oh, you look stupid. Oh, that's horrible. Blah, 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 blah. Unless you hang out in the, um, in, uh, the heavy metal scene or um, the piercing scene or tattoo scene like that, then people think it's cool. But if you just go to a normal nightclub and you have this thing in your nose, everybody will be like, oh, that looks stupid. And some people will probably even be provocated, what do you call it, provocated or annoyed by it and find it like really, really stupid and could even cause a fight or something. So I'm not doing it, not wearing it out in public really. Um, in public I wear my little retainer here, which is actually not that little. You can easily see it, like it's almost, what's that shining in his nose? That's my set and piercing. <laughs> but I hope to get um, some plugs one day when it's completely healed up I can get some plugs out of silicone which is skin colored and make a plug fit up there and pop that in so people would definitely not be able to see it. That would also be handy if I do work because I do have some plugs will fit in my ears and those can be hidden away very well. Alright, but time for me to go and take some pictures but I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to leave a link down in the description um, on this video here also for my web shop so you guys can go check that out because there will be decks up and I have 10 split plies which will be put for sale now um, I'm gonna put five up at a time and when they're sold out then I'm gonna come five more so um, yeah and it's gonna be same price for all of them and uh, the shipping is also um, 
the same price no matter where it is in the world. So, kind of cool, yeah. Alright, um, take good care guys. Love you all, stay awesome and epic, and see you tomorrow. Peace! There's no residue on the mold at all, which is great. And uh, I'll just give it a clean with a little cloth before I use the next one. Alright, so now we do the second one here. Remove the protective plastic.